Good evening, everyone, and welcome to HBBY Radio. All GeoGuessr, all the time. All the time. Here we are. It's Wednesday. We have the... <clears throat> Pardon me a sec. Gotta clear my throat. My apologies. Um, here we are with another round of GeoGuessr. And... This clearly is the United States. That looks like that could be a New York plate because it's yellow. It's a very mustardy, dark mustardy yellow. Kind of look. Remember what Scandinavian uh, Scandinavian houses yellow? That's a style of New York license plate. And this is also another one where it's all white and the top is a blue because it needed the money. A lot of churches here. This this feels north. I'm I'm uh, putting us here in upstate New York, and honestly, upstate New York is literally anything above New York City. It's it's silly. Maple Street. Yep, that's that was they forgot to blur that out. That's that's New York. Do do not harass these people at this fine New York New York establishment. We've got a school up here, as I can tell. Just it looks like a school. Big, giant, Colton Pierpoint Union School. Well, this doesn't help me where in New York we are. We have the New York State Soccer Champions. I'm going to say Colton Peppermint Boys, Class D, 2006. So they're Division D, Class D, whatever you want to call it. They are the town of Colton. And the problem is, this state gets big. And Colton uh, does not sound like anything I know, because I live in a state next to this one. And my part of the state does not border on anything called Colton. So I'm going to say, or like here, is there a Colton around here? No. But whatever. We'll, we have a starting point, and we will definitely be using this to try to find... Uh, Mount, thank you, where we are. How's your Wednesday going, folks? I've already had to restart a recording because Evo, the other person on the channel, called me called me up and just yelled at me for five minutes, called me bad names, and now I have a Pierre Point. Town of Colton. Well, that's a... Oh, uh, what are you? I should be able to tell what type of flag you are. I can't because I don't know any of your flags that, oh, that's a year flag. Maybe it's, I feel like that's a, uh, this is a total, really nothing I'm assuming here that it's a, oh, go backwards. Wait, we're on route 56. Are we getting our kicks here? It feels like that's Chicago Blackhawks flag and all of those numbers on there are each year they won the Stanley Cup, but this really is based on nothing. So we look for 56 in the next 46 seconds. You realize, you hear all the time, New York. And the state itself is really big. Okay, that's Pennsylvania down there. Just going to follow the border. Look for 56 anywhere. Um, 55? So we found but that it's not the same. We don't get bonus points for... Being that close, 43, 85, uh, 40, uh, 10 seconds, come on. Give me something. Give me something. Nothing? Uh, we're at the border with Canada. I didn't see it. All right, one second. Let's see how close we were. Oh, it was definitely, I, we, we passed by it, I guess, and we really had to zoom in to get to it. Well, we're right next to the Irish settlement. That's where they all went. They were all cordoned off there in a uh, tiny, tiny little town. You know, keep the infection of the Irish from getting anybody else. Where the hell is this? Mountain Pass. I don't know what this is. This is English wording. Very speed limit 25, so we're in America. The U.S. tour continues. Really tall mountains. This is really nice and scenic. It is during the fall because... Look at the foliage. It's starting to turn. Maybe this is September. 
Late September, I'm going to call it. Let's see how close I am. Um, signs. <clears throat> we have Ralph and Connie. You are not where we are. You just say who you are. I need I need locations, folks. Help me out here. This is the part of the U.S. you would want to live in if you wanted to be secluded, get away, quaint, relax. Look at this friggin' view, though. You gotta love that. Even if you just want to come visit, this is nice. This dirt road is probably real fun to drive down. Get that dust kicking up behind you. Just know that everybody here is probably living out here because they want to. It's all that privacy they want. Privacy, excuse me. And I'm just coming down this road to hopefully find a trash can with... Nope, you don't help me. I need a trash can or a mailbox that has like a newspaper on it and maybe that'll help me. To, I gotta make a guess. I'm gonna say Idaho. And then we're gonna go from there. Um, Got a power station. That's definitely America. And they love cows. Or at least the cow pattern. I gotta get down this road. I gotta get to something. This road eventually ends somewhere on a road sign that's going to tell me a route and maybe that'll help me that those were just warnings uh van i saw you where'd you go um license plate can't tell that doesn't help me license plate can't tell doesn't help me pardon me again i had to clear my throat i'm glad i put a mute button on here instead of trying to do it on the mic so you hear a bunch of thumbling and bumbling as i put my fingers all over the mic but as we try to get down here in the next minute and a half, um, as I was work at work today, I was sitting there thinking, this is view, look at that view, it's so nice. Thinking about some stuff to talk about. And I, I'm kind of like apprehensive because I kind of like some of this stuff to be as organic as possible. That's a green plate. Now I'm concerned. That's the, uh, this definitely isn't Eastern US though. And I feel like some of the talk should come organically from the either me just babbling and it trigger something to remind me and then I could start talking about it. Or if I should force it, but that seems silly. Like, then what's the point of me actually playing Geogast or I'm just here to babble? But I just remembered there was a thing I wanted to talk about that I kind of brushed on just a little bit. On Man, I am not going to get any more information. This frustrates me that I didn't get. This road takes me, goes on forever. Where is we? Man, I got nothing. I'm, I'm a little flustered. I'm going to say we're still in Idaho. Because I feel that covers my bases for most of uh, the western, the Rockies that I feel we're in right now. Oh, we're in Colorado. And there was no way I was getting near any sort of road that was going to help me. Three stars again. Uh, if you remember, wow, Jesus Christ. Well, this is, I feel that this is, that's amazing. Look at that. It's not the greatest quality, but that's real nice. We're in this section of Europe, so I'm going to click there. Hello, Liechtenstein. And we're going to go up here and find it, but I did touch on, okay, we're going to find this language. Uh, kinder, well, that's, uh, children. So, we are... At least, uh, we're in Switzerland or Germany. Well, we're in Switzerland. <laughs> that, that, that answers that. This is amazing. We just travel through time the second we go here. Winter? Summer. Wow. I, I, this is real nice. Hey, we found craft work. This is where they live. Look at this. I want to go here. Just sit outside and look at this. Like, I don't want to go around and look at anything else. I just want to hang out here. I've never... I've only flown over these mountains. I've never actually... Uh, oh, there was some information here. 
I've never actually been on ground in uh, on foot, I should say. That's that's the proper nomenclature through this part of the world. And even from the from a plane looking down, well that's the interlocking. Is there an interlocking? Well, I don't know what the hell the it's called. There really isn't much in the way of roadage here, so I'm just gonna say we're here. That feels like it could be a thing. Um, as we go around. But I did mention that I am very almost to a fault. Like, I don't wanna like inconvenience other people, especially when I'm on a plane. And the only time I actually didn't care about that was probably my worst flight I've had, my series of flights I've ever had in my entire life. And granted, there's people who have had worse, but this one was my personal bad, bad one. So I generally, every time I've gone on a flight, regardless, uh, either coming back or going to wherever we're going to, I've had my flight get, one of my flights get delayed without, um, there has been not been one time me flying that none of our flights have gotten delayed at, at any point. There was one time I was flying back from uh, Macedonia. I stopped in Istanbul, and my connecting flight was to New York. Every other, this was in the summer, every other flight was on time. There was only one that was delayed, and it was my flight. But this one, I was flying back from Taiwan. So keep in mind that I mentioned last time, I don't like flying on uh, sleeping on planes. Because I don't want to wait. We we got some we got some information. I don't want to like snore loud and wake everyone up, have everyone else have a bad time. So I will sit there and watch movies the whole time because hey, it's it's how I catch up on some movies anyway. So I leave Taiwan at eight a.m. their time. Fly to Narita, and I'm stuck on the tarmac for probably an hour. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. I've got like a full hour layover, whatever you want to call it, in uh, Narita. Um, turns out the plane is delayed four hours. So I'm like, great, let's see how close we are to Switzerland here. Oh, I almost had it. Is there a Zwitter thing? Oh, it doesn't show anywhere. Well, well I'll give myself four stars. So I'm just, we're, we're just sitting there like, all right, they had to repair something and that took a while to get the part and I'm like, all right. Yeah. I, I've kind of accepted. Okay. Las Canas, uh, 39. I have to look for that road sign. None of these are that. How close do I get? Do they change color? They do not. So we'll come up here. I'll just check this real quick. Yep. Okay. That doesn't change. Anyway, so, flight happens. They have interstate plates here. That's cool. All right. So, we're stuck there. My flight gets delayed. So, that kind of, like, causes everything else behind it to get backed up. And I'm like, ah, eh, fine. This isn't Mexico, is it? No, it's not. So, um, my flight goes from uh, Tokyo to... Uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, that was, I think, a 12-hour flight. Uh, I had not slept... Oh, wait, we're ending here? Okay. 12-hour flight, did not sleep on the entire plane. Watched movies the whole time. I don't know how the time zone thing works, but I've been up since 8 a.m. Uh, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo, uh, Taipei time. Uh, where the hell are is this this feels like South, South Southern America. I just have no idea where so <clears throat> That just caused my connector flight from New York back to my house or from DC to my house. It was going to yeah, it flows directly to my house I live in an airport um, And I had an hour layover between my connecting flight from DC So I was feeling like hey, it's gonna be close uh, it was going to be up in the air the entire time. Sierra. Oh, man. Now I need to look. Is there blue? 
Well, it's A30, A4. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is this... This can't be Spain. Going the wrong way. This is going to be a terrible score, I think. A39. I'm sorry that I'm like pausing the story, but now this this has me a bit concerned. That oh man, that this is Spain instead of oh man, I don't see a thirty nine anywhere. It's like is this what's the a is this is this like the it can't be. But I saw a Hyundai. God. This this is this is terrible. We gotta look at this. I feel like that's a European sign. That's how desperate I am for Oh man. 39. 35. 30 30. I'm going to click here, and this is going to be a terrible score. i got 10 seconds. Oh, this is this is going to be South America. I know it. There was a Hyundai, and it's terrible. Yep. God fucking damn it, I got... Why didn't I look at Uruguay? Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, God, this I have not had such a bad score in a very, very long time. That just stalled. I'm sorry that stalled my story so ter it's like so awfully, but. And I, I, I don't know why I, I psyched myself out so hard there. But anyway, on the plane, we my, I, I get my flight and we, we touch down. I'm like, man, I have like maybe. 20 minutes to get on my flight and I'm like ah, I could squeeze it but um, they they pretty much planned it to be I, I landed in uh, there's two airports in DC there's Reagan and then there's Dulles Ooh, we got a wrecked car this will help me where we are that's a Nissan that could be this could be uh, Brazil so I felt I was uh, it Dulles we landed so I'm like alright I'm probably not going to get... So this lady at the... Uh, when you come from international flights back to the U.S., you got to go through a quick customs check before you even get on your uh, connecting flight. So in the interim of uh, getting my bags and then on our way to do the, the, the interim clearing to get a domestic flight, the lady at the counter is like, all right, everyone who had connecting flights here, are your new tickets for new flights. So I get my ticket, and I notice that it's like four hours from now so i'm like okay this isn't too bad and i see what my gate number is i'm like oh this is like a it, it, it's like one that rarely ever gets used and i don't know where this is I, i'm just gonna put brazil and then go from there so i'm wandering around the airport i'm killing a bit of time about all right, about two hours later, I'm just going to go find my gate and go sit down at it. So I go wandering around Dulles the entire time. Can't find the gate. Go up to some random woman at a gate. I'm like, I'm trying to find this gate. Can you help me where it is? It's like, oh, this ticket. You're uh, you're at the wrong airport. I'm like, excuse me? It's like, yeah, this this ticket here, it's, um, it's for Reagan? I'm like, uh, oh, wait, what? Yeah, um... They should have told you that when you got the ticket. She didn't tell me that. Like, I even asked her, oh, you've got Jesus as your uh, passenger. I'm like, so I asked her, it's like, so I think I asked her about, like, oh, you like the Rolling Stones, about the any of the information. She's just like, here's the ticket. This is all I've been tasked with doing, or this is all I know. I can't tell you anything else because I'm just handing out tickets. But apparently I had two hours to get across town in a shuttle. That thankfully the airport paid for because they realized, oh, this is this is bad. So I'm like, all right, great. I got my connecting flight. I'm still awake. 
This is at night now. It's probably like seven or eight at night. And I'm just like, oh man, I'm just gonna get on this flight, fly home. I'm gonna be home. I just I'm done flying. I'm done traveling. I just wanted to be over. So I get to the other airport, get in line, um, and I, I, I happen to swipe my ticket because sort of like the pre-check-in thing, and there's like, error, please go see you, whatever. Error, go please. I like, try it a different ways. Maybe I, I swiped it wrong and all that other shit, and nothing came up. So I go to talk to the lady, and she's like, Atencio. Uh, I'm just saying Brazil still. And uh, yeah, your flight, your flight was canceled. And if you know anything about flight cancellations, if it's weather related, the airport is not, or the airline is not responsible for getting you a hotel room. You have to pay for it. The only time they're going to pay for a hotel room is when it's the plane's fault. So I'm stuck in the airport with um, a flight that got rebooked to the first one in the morning which was like 7 or 8 a.m i'm just sitting there being like god fuck i'm stuck at the airport my phone is super low on power so i'm wandering around the airport trying to find something to plug it into can't find it so i'm like well i can't fall asleep i can't set an alarm on my phone because my phone might die overnight I'm just going to have to stay awake. So I spent the entire night at Reagan International Airport um, just fighting myself staying awake. I read an entire book that night every time I read a chapter, and I noticed that I almost blacked out. I'm like, all right, I got to get up and move around. Took a couple of laps. It's a very small airport. And then quickly the time comes around to get on the uh, plane. Get in the plane, it's like an hour flight, and I just black out. I just remember sitting in my chair, because I was probably up for, I don't know, 20, 30, 35 hours. I have no idea. I didn't bother doing the math. And I just, I woke up, my mouth was super dry, so I know that I was just laying back, mouth wide open, just snoring like an asshole. I didn't care. It's the only time I've actually ever stayed awake, or, uh fell asleep on a plane because that was extreme circumstances and this is the worst round i think i've ever had in geoguesser i'm real uh uh ashamed about that because fuck you i should have known better but them's the breaks folks uh hope you enjoyed it as best as you can at least you saw some cool places over here and maybe over here too and uh i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you could, like, favor, comment, subscribe. Check out the other videos on the channel. But if you don't, we get it. Just come back on Friday for another round of GeoGuessr. And we'll be here waiting for you. Have a good day, folks. We'll see you next time.